was busy actually editing today's video when I suddenly realized something and we'll just close all of these and according to what they said on the 5th of April everything would go live about what's going to happen Tenocon 2023 with tickets and everything else so let's just oh yeah hmm. that would be typical digital extremeness but this is what it looked like before they updated it in theory it should have updated when that said 23 and that said 59 and that said 59 but they may not update this until 2 p.m. ET, so I'm going to give them another 20 minutes or so, and we're going to come back and have a look at this, and see what it actually says. In case you're wondering what I'm on about here, it would be the fact that on the 22nd, when they had their try not to laugh moment, um, 10 year anniversary announcement, where they announced that they weren't doing anything till Tenocon, even though their anniversary was the 25th of March, the new item will not appear till August the 26th. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. The physical tickets will be going on sale. Today. Won't lie, completely forgot about it. So we'll try again and we'll have a look and ha! So, get your tickets now. They're coming soon. So we don't even get to see what, okay, we do. There's a rapier skin. A Lotus Floof. This is the digital pack, so it will be a digital floof for in-game. The sigil, a glyph, the display for... I'm assuming the logo they haven't actually shown yet. The dis... what? The Distressor weapon. Why? Platinum, one regal ire, Barrow's relay ticket. Um, so basically, instead of being Tenocon armor, it's basically Tenocon Sandana this year, with a Lotus Floof, and everything else is basically the stuff they usually bring, but because there's a rapier skin, obviously they have to give you the weapon that goes with it. That of course, if you already have, I would say a free weapon slot, but uh, yeah, this probably costs around $20. And I thought I'd concentrate more on that before they have a chance to actually show us what this looks like. Because obviously, I'm guessing like a lot of things that have basically come to light in the past um, two weeks, nothing at all was ready for the 10 year anniversary of Warframe because they didn't do anything new for the 10 year anniversary of Warframe. They're just rerunning alerts and... Be this is all because they're working on Daviri. So instead of having things sorted, they just kind of put everything back till August, which is a questionable decision, but I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt here and say, well, we'll have to see what happens on August 26th and if it was worth the 20 week wait. I don't know if that's the exact weeks, but there is, of course, if you are going to be there in person, the legendary ticket that comes with basically everything else, but it comes with the 10th anniversary merch pack. The Tenocon merch pack. Hmm. Huh. This raises other questions, if I'm being 100% honest. That will sell out insanely quickly. It always does. The VIP ticket will give you early access and a thumper floof. Plush. That's an actual Thumper Floof plush. That would be, well, we now know what the Tenocon 2023 floofs are going to be. One of them's going to be the Thumper, and the other one's going to, oh, I don't know what on earth the other one could be. So the way these are going to work is the Tenocon digital pack is going to consist of the Sandana, the Rapier, the Floof for your landing craft skins, basically. The sigil, the glyph, and the display, as always, the sandana is going to be the special Tenocon item, and the barrel relay ticket where he will bring absolutely everything he has ever sold, ever, including Prime Chamber. Hopefully, the need to really confirm that that is turning up this year. It wasn't there last year for the first hour or seven. He was actually there, but he did bring it eventually. All of this will be, of course, included, and I'm assuming this is going to be about $20, 
when they actually put a price on it simply because of how much platinum it comes with and that's what it tends to usually be anyway love to see them turn around because it's a 10 year anniversary thing and say oh no it's 15 dollars how about you go really 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 lovely on this one 10 year anniversary how about 10 dollars they're still going to be making money on it because it's a digital thing there's not no physical items to this it's completely digital they would sell a hell of a lot more if it was ten dollars as well but no it will probably be about twenty dollars the full day ticket will include the digital pack as well as the swag bag and all day access to tenocon the collector's ticket will include all of that including the collector's t-shirt and an additional 525 platinum making it a thousand in total vip access obviously includes all of everything the other tickets have and the thumper floof i'm looking forward to see what that looks like access to the vip lounge uh early access to the tenocon merch i'm hoping that is something that yeah i'm hoping they don't sell out of the floofs because i really hope they don't sell out the floofs <laughs> and obviously early access to Tenocon itself and then the legendary ticket basically comes with a 15 minute one-on-one -on -one dev Q&A an NPC voice recording session a custom personalized glyph as a hell of a lot of money just to get a hold of that signed art book the 10 year anniversary merch pack which obviously we can't see yet because it doesn't exist. Quote Digital Extreme here, it's still in the foundry, and the Tenocon merch pack as well, that should include basically everything, well, included in all of it. It is, there is not many. It says only one legendary ticket is up for grabs. That's probably already gone by the time I do this. I have not refreshed this in the past half an hour. This right here may completely screw me. Because let's not forget, Tenocon 2020, when they launched the floofs for that, those things were sold out basically within about seven minutes. So I really kind of wish that that was part of the digital pack. And for those who keep asking, because I have been asked this several times, no, 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 no. Yes. If you understand, you understand. I'm not seeing anything other than that. And with that, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.